Deluge, the sadly underrated torrent client, is a cross-platform program, meaning it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I chose this torrent client instead of uTorrent due to the ads present in uTorrent, making it spark more than usual CPU usage. Today I was surfing YouTube and oddly there were no videos on how to speed it up. So I decided to make one for you guys who just want just went into Deluge and want to speed it up or have been looking for tutorials for quite some time and can't find one. Now open up Deluge, go to edit and preferences and go to network. Now I want you guys to uncheck use random ports and same with outgoing ports. Most of you believe using a specific port will make a big difference. Actually, if you want to think that way, yes, but only if many people use the same port. Otherwise, save yourself from the trouble and choose a port from the range 49160 to 65534. Do not choose a port less than 49152 because Windows uses some ports in that range. The same goes for 6881 to 6999 and due to ISPs blocking the range between here as you can see 6861-6891 these ports are blocked so avoid using them now as described earlier use the range 49160-65534 I'm going to go for 63333 uh, three, three, three. simple as that and the same goes for outgoing ports okay now under encryption here, make sure this entire thing is enabled and level set to either and keep it on the encrypt entire stream checked. This is so that uh, you can keep it secure from ISPs and any other people who want to find out what are you doing with all this traffic. Although it sees is something that's secure. And uh, for this port to work, make sure you access your router settings and port forward the port you chose. It is important that you do so, otherwise traffic from Deluge will be blocked. Also, just to be safe, add exceptions for Deluge in your firewall. If your router supports UPnP, you can check your UPnP here. And uh, what this does is it would ask your router to automatically forward the port you chose. So it's pretty much easier for you. Now, to test if the port works, go ahead and click on Test Active Port. And my case is taking forever, so... <laughs> Yeah, it seems like UPnP doesn't work with my uh, router, so you should get a green circle. If you get a yellow circle, that means that it's, well, maybe, I'm not sure about the yellow circle, but red, of course, means that it's not working. Now, we're going to go for a website that will calculate the settings for us. On Deluge. I will post a link on the description for you guys to easily access it. Now the first thing I want you guys to do is open up speedtest.net. We're going to check our speed so we can correctly calculate it based on our speed. Make sure you go to settings once it opens and choose under speed measurement kilobytes click on save and go back to the speed test from here you can go ahead and test your internet speed
What we're trying to do is get our upload speed and not the download speed, since the calculator uses your upload speed instead of your download for some reason. <clears throat> okay, once the speed test is done, copy your upload speed, in my case it's 255.1, and write in here 255. Point one. Okay, from here we can go ahead and configure our torrent client. As you can see here, you can see maximum numbers, number of connections per torrent. This one, you apply it here, down here. In my case it's 198, so I will write 198. And for maximum number of connections globally goes over here. Four, nine, Max upload speed goes here. And upload slots go here. And that's it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope that this uh, tutorial helped speed up the luge and I hope it satisfied that feeling where you want to get a couple of KBs out of Deluge. So please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. If you guys need anything, comment sections below, and make sure you check the description for everything that you need.